Programming tiny matter to change itself on a molecular level is off the chain. Could you imagine if our clothes could be made with nanotechnology? We could code them to change colors. Highly sensitive nanotechnology attached to our bodies could create energy powered by our emotions. <laughs> One more gift for you, Senor Coyo. Oh, you've already been too kind, Adrian. It's one of my personal favorites. Vanilla, essential oil using carbon dioxide under high pressure. Ethanolic essence, a fresh pine needles. And an added touch of violet or poppy. Oh, I, I like that. Thanks, Adrian. Station ground installed. Coaxial cable connected. I just need to adjust the antenna. We did it? <laughs> it's just a random ping. You're not helping. But he is right. It might be random. Eris typically uses frequencies in the 144 to 146 megahertz band for the best signal. Tuning to 145.80 and... This is Mission Control. Welcome back, crew. Job well done. Looks like Professor Cato's research found a dark side to the nanotechnology prototype. Like, doomsday dark. See, even though nanotechnology can really benefit medicine and help to cure diseases, this prototype seems to have the ability to replicate. Like, nonstop. So it could multiply out of control, devour all organic matter, and cause mass destruction. English, please. Put it this way, in social media, everyone shares viral memes. It starts with one post, then two people share it, then two of their friends share it, and it continuously grows exponentially. Two, four, eight, 16, 32, you get the math. Anyways, after a matter of hours, it's been shared a million times. These little guys are just like viral memes, except their friends devour everything in their path, turning life on Earth into mush. I was so pumped, and since my art always centers me and calms me down, I had this like totally inspired idea. Check it out. Characters in my debut graphic novel. Michaela, the unicorn. Wow. Nice. Bryden, the mermaid. I love it. Ember, the woodland fairy. So impressive. Awesome. Adrian, the princess. Cool. I'm real sweet. And Cameron, the dragon. I like Princess Adrian. Perfecto combination of sweet and spicy. Hey, you guys were my inspiration. Pepper and I room should do the trick. Pepper ring is a chemical bomb found in black pepper, which gives food its much needed flavor. <laughs> That's not actually too bad. Careful, it's got a kick. We'll be back for you as soon as we solve the case. <sighs> what the hat? The quarry candle. <laughs> It's made out of sodium chlorate. When it's heated, it breaks down into oxygen and table salt. Totally harmless. <laughs> well, I know these two are smart, but how's the intern know all this? Uh, it's on my resume. It's how I got the job. We just have to pull this pin. It'll ignite what's inside and should generate enough oxygen to buy us more time. But is it safe? Flat engineer Bryant explained that it's wrapped in thermal insulation, protecting the equipment and, in this case, us. Carbon dioxide is denser than oxygen. In a confined space, it'll display Carbon dioxide tanks feed the soda machines. I'll check the cafeteria. Fire extinguishers, they can take carbon dioxide. Dry ice is a solid form of carbon dioxide. I can retrieve it from the lab. While growing vegetables on Mars with soil from Earth, microorganisms in the dirt called geobacters generate electrons. The energy can then be stored into small batteries. 